Hello my friends, Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. In this episode of Gears, we'll be checking out CO2 cartridges. All right, cool, let's get started. CO2 cartridges, what are they? Pretty simple, they're a small metal canister filled with CO2. These CO2 cartridges come in different sizes. I've got a 16 gram one here, I've got a 20 gram one here, and a 25 gram one here. Now making sure you get the right size CO2 cartridge is very important. Bottom line is you're not gonna fill up your fat bike tire with one of these little guys, and it sure would be a waste to use a big cartridge like this on a small 2.3 size tire. So bottom line is take a look at the CO2 cartridge and find out what it's rated for and make sure you have the right cartridge to do the right job. Now to use a CO2 cartridge, you need more than just a CO2 cartridge. You need some type of device to mount on top of the CO2 cartridge so that you can get the air out of it. Now these devices come in various styles. Here's a small little one that you just screw onto the top of the CO2 cartridge and press into the valve of your tire. And here's a more elaborate one from Lazine where it's actually a pump, but you can take out the top over here and this now becomes uh, an attachment to the cartridge to let the air out of the cartridge. So this is kind of a two-in-one deal over here. Now, regardless of which device you get to get the air out of one of these little guys, they all basically work the same way. The CO2 cartridge has a thin little metal cap on top. It's the best I can kind of explain it, but you can see in the picture right now. The device has a small little metal pin inside of it. So when you screw the CO2 cartridge into the device, it'll get snug. That's when the pin is touching the top of the metal, the top of the CO2 cartridge. When you crank that down further, the pin will puncture the CO2 cartridge, allowing air to come out. Now, air won't start flowing right away. All these devices are designed to hold the air in, and then depending on how the device is designed, you would just use it in the appropriate way to get the air out of the cartridge and into your tire. So now you might be asking yourself, why on earth would you wanna have a CO2 cartridge in your bag that you can only use once when you could keep a pump in your bag and you can use it as many times as you want? Really simple. And let me give you a quick story on what happened to me and what sold me on CO2 cartridges. Basically it came down to speed and the amount of air that can come out of one of these so much faster than what you can do on a pump. I'll keep it quick. Bottom line, I was riding out with a bunch of buddies, it was really, really cold out, and I got a puncture. It was so cold that it was actually hard for us to even get the plugs to work because those plugs need to be pliable and they were having a really tough time plugging the hole. We were able to get the plugs in there, but we were also going to need the sealant in the tire to heal up the rest of the hole. So we kept on trying with the pump and kept on trying and it was cold and it was really hard to do and we just couldn't get the air in fast enough. Then one of my friends on the ride said, look, just take the CO2 cartridge and use it. We put this on there and whoosh, it filled up the tire so much faster than it would have done with the pump. So bottom line, I'll still keep a pump in my bag, but I'm definitely keeping a CO2 cartridge with me all the time, simply in those emergencies. And you know what I'm talking about, being out in the trails, really, really cold, um, you just want those tires filled up fast and it's very hard to beat a CO2 cartridge. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for this gears video. You know how it works. These are quick, short videos with tips and tricks and just things I wanna share with you. If you have a quick tip or trick you'd like to share with all the community, let me know. Send me an email. All the information is in the description of this video. Until then, keep the party on the pedals, my friends. Be safe out there and I hope to see you on the trails. Bye-bye.